Hey there YouTube, it's your girl Kristen here. I'm a licensed esthetician, an educator, mentor, a YouTuber, and a mom. Thank you so much for clicking on this video, and if you're new here, make sure you hit that subscribe button, especially if you're also an esthetician, beauty entrepreneur, content creator, that is all welcome here. I've been sharing with you in this series how I've created my YouTube channel from scratch, and last week I showed you my video setup, how to film a facial video, because that has been my most requested question. And now in this week's episode, I'm gonna be sharing with you how to edit a facial video. So as you can see, we've switched up the scenery. We're here in my room. My son is asleep. It's about nine o'clock and he's in the room next door, but I find that this is really the best time for me to edit, to focus. I wanted to give you a glimpse of like what it really truly looks like when I'm editing a video. So I'm gonna be showing you how to edit with iMovie because iMovie is what I started with and what I've used to actually edit a majority of the facial videos that you guys have seen. It's not gonna be anything fancy. I'm just gonna do a screen recording here on my MacBook so that you guys can kind of follow along with me. And I'm also gonna be sharing with you some practical tips to help just make the editing process easier, how I stay focused, how I don't burn out, because this can be a really long process. And along with some items too that I think you should purchase. If any of that interests you, come and edit with me and continue watching. I'm glad you decided to tune in because I'm gonna be sharing with you some really, really great tips. I've been thinking a bit about what exactly I wanna share with you in this video. I am not a tech person. I'm not an expert at this, so please watch this and take it with a grain of salt. Take any info that you find is helpful. But of course, there are so many other resources out there on YouTube to give you a much more detailed tutorial. I'm just gonna show you um, what I think you really need to know about editing a facial video. Of course, make your facial videos your own. You can watch all the tutorials you want, but I think what's beautiful is that your own channel is gonna have its own vibe to it. So make sure whatever you do to make it authentic, make it something you would enjoy watching ultimately, and I promise you, it's gonna come out great. So if you're here to just watch and learn and take what you can, great. I'm excited to share with you because I've been getting asked this so much. Okay. Let's dive right in. I really encourage everybody to get their full night of sleep. It's only gonna make your video better quality. It's only gonna keep you from burning out because trust me, this can be a really long process. Give yourself a lot of time to edit. I love to break up my editing into multiple days. So actually the other day I went and already uploaded my content because that takes time in itself. So you have to think about every single little factor that goes into this. It's not just about editing the footage itself. It's like what leads up to it and and afterwards. There's actually a whole process you have to go through with posting your video. You have to you know, fill out some things on YouTube, which I plan on creating a separate video. Also, it's just good for you to take breaks mentally because after you look at something for so long and so many times, it kind of becomes repetitive and then your eyes start to cross. I suggest, please take my advice and edit in chunks. The next thing is I have these little blue light glasses. I purchased these blue light glasses from Amazon. I use these because I really do feel like it helps my eyes to not feel as strained because you are gonna be looking at the computer for a long time. Another thing that I have is an external hard drive. Having an external hard drive is literally the best thing that was ever invented for editors and for content creators. So please get one. I got this from Amazon. It is a two terabyte external hard drive and I edit directly on the external hard drive. So you can do this on iMovie and other editing softwares, but I highly recommend that you get one of these, especially when you're filming in 4K quality. The file sizes are huge, so be sure to get an external hard drive. Speaking of data space, so you also want to go into your computer and make sure that you go and try to delete as much as you can. If you edited a video before and you saved it on your hard drive but you had sent the videos to your laptop initially, like I have to actually do an airdrop from my phone to my laptop. So there are videos in there that are taking up space. So then once I actually upload them onto the external hard drive, I'm gonna actually go and delete those extra files so that they're not taking up space. So I'm actually gonna do that right now. I'm gonna take these off because I feel like they're 
giving you a glare. So um, another application that I suggest downloading is called Clean My Mac X. It is a lifesaver. It's actually one of those softwares that helps to detect viruses, but it also lets you know when to clean up just extra junk. So I noticed when I would go into my settings for my laptop, I would notice a lot of um, space was being taken and it just had this bar that said other. And I was like, what the? Like, what's other? I started researching and I found this app and this app has been just amazing. So it goes and it does a scan here and there and it goes and lets you know what excess files can be deleted. So that's also something that could kind of free up your computer a bit more. So check that out. And I have my little makeshift desk here. It's probably best not to edit in your bed and with a TV tray but I don't really have an office space here at home, so I'm making do with what I have. But if you can, get yourself out of your bed, go sit at a desk, and edit somewhere where you are not so comfortable. I also have my TV here, and I'm not playing it right now because I wasn't sure if there was like copyright to it, but I do play classical music. I think classical music really just helps me get in the zone. It keeps it, It's actually proven to help boost concentration levels. So put on some good music that's gonna help you focus and keep you in the right headspace to do this because, you know, it is an art, it's a craft um, to edit a video. Hope you guys gain a few little tips right there. So if you did, make sure you like this video, hit that subscribe button, and continue watching. All right, y'all, let's dive right in. I'm gonna start the screen recording so you guys can see what I'm looking at. I already have iMovie opened up here and of course as you can see I uploaded all of my content. This footage here with the vertical view is for my iPhone and this footage here is for my Canon. So really quickly how to upload anything. You're going to go to this arrow here and you're going to press import and it's going to import video from your directly from your camera or from a folder on your computer. Um, but in order to create a new library, which is what I'm pointing at here, um, and, and to save it on your external hard drive, you're going to go to File, and you're going to go to Open Library, and you'll press New. And of course, you want to make sure you have your external hard drive selected, and then you'll go and create that library. So since I already did one, I'm going to cancel. Um, but that is how we get here. That is how we're editing directly on the hard drive so that it's not taking up space. So. Like I said earlier, make sure you go and delete any data that you did save on your computer because now it is directly saved in your external hard drive. So my goal for today is roughly chop it up so that it's pretty much ready to go as far as like the, the visuals. What I'm going to be doing here is I'm going to be dragging in some footage. So I'm going to start from the beginning here. And you just simply grab the footage and drag it in. And I'll grab a couple so that they're already in there. And they should be in order of, of, you know, what you uploaded. So first, before I get into this, I did want to tell you, make sure you continue watching this video because I am going to show you where I get my audio clips from, you know, the, like spa music that I kind of put in the background and also um, how I put text into the videos. I'm going to be doing that part tomorrow. So be sure to continue watching because I definitely want you to see that part. Select the clip that you're going to try to edit. And right now you can't hear anything. I did mute my computer, but normally if it's unmuted, you can actually hear it. So if you need to turn that off, you can just mute your computer um, or you can just simply mute the clip itself because I actually don't plan on having any audio from the clip unless I'm getting audio from a part where like say I'm mixing the mask to kind of get that little ASMR flair to it where you can hear the textures. But most of the clips in here are going to be muted. So I'm going to go to the sound icon right here and click that and press the mute button here, which is that red line going across the icon. So that way the clip is silent. So whether you had it on mute or not, it's not going to make any more sound. Um, but I'm just going to mute it just so, you know, it's quiet. Um, also, what I do is I'm going to go ahead and rotate this clip. So you're going to go to this icon here, which is a cropping icon, and you're going to press this button with the left arrow to make it go the other way. And then I'm also going to crop this. So I'm going to crop it so that's nice and centered. That's why we did film it in a little bit more of a zoomed out angle. 
and I'm gonna bring that in and make it nice and s as centered as possible. Bring that a little bit more. And there we go, that's looking pretty good right there. So I'm gonna do that for all of the clips as I'm editing. And I know they're not all gonna be perfect, but most of these clips are gonna have transitions. So when I filmed, the goal was for me to do clips where I knew I was gonna do transition. And what I mean by transitions is the part where it either kind of like fades or it morphs into the next clip. So the way that you add that is you're gonna to go to transitions and you're gonna select, you know, whatever transition you want. So they have a whole library here. And so the one that I tend to use the most is like the cross blur. And I'm gonna put it in between the two. That way this clip to this clip doesn't seem as choppy. And if you wanna go and split a clip, I just do a right click and you can press split. Or if you wanna do the shortcut, it's gonna be command B. So I'm gonna press that and I'm gonna go ahead and just delete this clip. Okay, so a little bit of steam action here and then we're gonna see the product coming in. So as you can see, you can see the facial product that I use and I'm gonna go ahead and just cut it right here before I pull it away. And it looks like I haven't muted these just yet, so I'm gonna go ahead and mute those. I'm gonna delete that, so that way it skips right to when I'm pumping the product. And then I'm gonna go and split that again, and then I'm gonna go right directly. Oh, oh, it looks like I do a cool little um, texture shot. So I'm gonna go and clip that. There we go. Ooh, that looks nice. Okay, I'm gonna clip that, and then I'm gonna go straight to the part where I start cleansing her, so. As you can see, you can use your mouse here to drag across the clip. So actually, I don't go and watch all the footage before and look at it. I watch it as I'm editing. So I'm gonna go and cut to right where I'm about to start cleansing her. Oh, okay. Oh, a little too soon, right there. Okay, cut that, delete. So let's kind of watch it from here. Beautiful. Okay. Ooh, ah, yes. <laughs> okay, perfect. So now I'm really just gonna let the clip go from here. I think a lot of people like to see the actual cleanse itself. Today we're kind of just roughly chopping, so I'm gonna just go and skip to when I'm done. Um, wiping it off her skin. So look, as you can see, we're back here with where a product is gonna pop in. So I'm gonna go and go right to the part where I'm about to bring the product in. Delete that. Already, you guys are seeing like what I do throughout the whole video. I'm going and I'm cutting out any dead space to the video. I'm getting those shots of the products. I'm getting the shots of the actual product texture itself and um, making sure that it just all looks good at that it's zoomed in where it needs to be zoomed in and I'm just gonna be kind of doing that from here on out and on, on all the clips and be rotating them making sure they're looking good they're straight and then like I said tomorrow is when I'm gonna be doing kind of the more of the detailed stuff so um, I will do a little speed through of what I'm doing here so you guys can see but I'm pretty much gonna be doing what I just showed you over and over and over again. Another part I wanted to show you was when I go to my other footage, um, cause you know how I film from the upper view and the side view, so I'm gonna show you really quick how I sync the two. So I'm gonna go and drag some of the footage from the Canon down, and I'm actually going to just leave it on top. So it can actually, you can only add one clip to the top on iMovie, on other editing softwares, you can do multiple layers. But on here, you can only do one. So leave it on top. Don't go and put it here. Leave it on top. And I'm going to cut it to this clip. This. Okay, I'm going to split it. 
delete that and kind of find where I left off with the other viewpoint. So let's see. Okay, so now I'm on the right side. I'm going to transition to the left. So let's go back here. Okay, right there. So I'm, I clicked here to kind of leave a marker where it was at, and then I'm going to drag this footage. Oops, drag this footage over here. Okay, so now I'm going to check to see to make sure it looks good. Perfect. And then I'm actually going to go and kind of crop this too because I want it to be a little bit of a closer angle. Beautiful. So now you kind of see how I switch from the above footage to the side footage same concept will be applied to all the other parts um, so hopefully that gave you a good idea of how to do that um, again if you have any questions pop them below but right now I'm just gonna go and speed through this get this as chopped up and ready to go as possible so that tomorrow I can really just focus on the details so enjoy the speed up Two hours later. I'm ready for bed. It took me about two hours to just roughly chop everything up. Like I said, tomorrow will be more of the fine tuning day. We'll add in all the little details. I'm going to go catch some Z's and I'll check in with you guys tomorrow. Peace.